Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we've got a really cool build. We're going to do a resto mod on a Hot Wheels Jet Threat. Now these are pretty cool looking cars, man. I tell you, it'd be pretty interesting to drive for sure. Now this one here is painted with an opaque paint. And these were promotional cars from the Shell Oil Company back in the early 70s. We're going to take this car, we're going to strip it down, we're going to give it a nice Spectre Flame paint job and make it look really cool, and we're going to update the wheels. Let's get started. Here I've got the car, and I've already drilled out the post. Now the jet engine in the center is one of the posts. And the other post is at the very back end of the car underneath the cockpit. And we've got to take out the glass here. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Here's the body. And like I said, we're going to get rid of that opaque paint. And we're going to give it a really cool Spectre Flame paint job. Now the reason I'm calling this a Resto Mod is because it's not going to be the original paint job. Here's the base. We've got the cap wheels in the back. We're going to reuse those. But the wheels in the front, I've got some wheels from a donor car. And we're going to use those to freshen this car up. We'll polish the base, make that look really good. Here's the engine. We've got some casting lines on there that I want to get rid of, but the engine is in good shape and it's going to shine up really nice. Here's the windshield. We'll have to use some of the Plastex polish on that to polish that up, but that's going to look cool too. Here we've got the body, and we're going to put this into the nacho cheese. Now that's for my friend Ethan, who said, hey, can you go ahead and do that for me? And you got it, brother. So here, we got it in the nacho cheese. Now don't eat this nacho cheese, folks. This is pretty nasty stuff, and it would definitely give you the blats. Go ahead and knock off any excess, and let's put it on the tray, and we'll let it set and get that paint off there. All right. Let's go on to something else while we're waiting for this to clear off. Let's move on. Here we've got the body all stripped down. Now we're going to use the Flitz. I love Flitz. This is a great product. Now, not only do they have the polish here, but they've got a uh, very large selection of products that you can use for flits. I mean, they've got the metal pre-clean, they've got the uh, polishing cream here, but they've got all kinds of different products here. So that's uh, a really cool thing to, to, uh, to let you guys know. Now here's something else really cool. Now the nice folks at Flits, which is an official sponsor of Diecast Graveyard, they love how I use the product in my videos. So what they're offering the folks that watch my videos, you my subscribers and anybody who watches my videos, is they are going to offer a 20% discount on any Flitz product. Are you hearing me folks? 20% off. All you have to do is go to the Flitz website. It doesn't do you any good if you go to Amazon and order or any other place. You've got to go to the Flitz website, which there'll be a link in the comment box at the beginning of the video. And then you enter this code, Graveyard, when you're prompted to. Enter the code Graveyard when you get to the Flitz website and you're ready to check out, and you will get a 20% discount off any Flitz product. Okay, how can you beat that? That is absolutely amazing. So please check it out. Go to the Flitz website. Again, there'll be a link in the comments at the beginning of the video on, on the uh, comment page. Check it out. What a fantastic offer from the nice folks at Flitz. And man, this product works fantastic. So please get you some. I recommend it highly. Just got a little bit more polishing to do here, but man, this is turning out really nice. Let's get this scrubbed down with the degreaser and get it ready for some paint. Here we are ready for paint. The first color we're going to put down is Spectre Flame Orange. 
I uh, love the way this paint looks. It's, it turns out fantastic, folks. So if you don't have any orange Spectre Flame paint in your arsenal, you need to go ahead and get some. Let's put on some light mist coats, those tack coats, very important. And again, put on a light coat. And then when you're done, you want to let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes. 15 is that much better. It gives the paint time to set up and get tacky so if you happen to put more coats on there it gives it something to hold on to plus it, it'll help it to where it's not going to make your paint run so it's very important like I said to put on those light mist coats those tack coats and you'll have a fantastic paint job just mix the paint by the manufacturer's specifications Now we've let this set for about 15 minutes. Now in the back end of the car we're going to put Spectre Flame Red. When I see this jet engine in the car, what I see is something that can definitely produce some flames. So that's where I was going with this paint job. Go ahead and put some nice light coats of red on there and slowly build up the color that you want. Now again, Experiment with your Spectre Flame paints. If you want to mix up some colors and make your own color, please do. It's highly recommended. Just if you happen to mix up a color and you really like it, make sure you remember how much and of what color you put in to get to that color that you wanted. So if you've got orange and you want to put red into it and you put like five drops of red or whatever, write it down or remember it because you want to be able to reproduce it as good as you made it when you really started to like that paint if that makes sense man this is turning out super super sweet let's move on here we've got the windshield now flitz is also a fantastic plastic polish folks so that's another bonus you know, you might not have to use the Plastex polish if you've already got the flits. So buying this will save you money. And I'll tell you, it works great. It works fantastic. So don't forget that that 20% coupon exists if you use that code GRAVEYARD. I'll leave that link in the comments section. Now, it, again, it only applies if you go to the flits webpage. Now this, co this code, this 20% code, is good for any Flitz product that you buy on the Flitz page and use the code GRAVEYARD. So please go ahead and check it out. You won't be sorry. It's a fantastic product and these folks stand behind what they sell. I know that I love the product and that's why I keep touting it to you folks. Because it's a fantastic product and it works. Okay? Now, like I said... Not only is it used on metal here, but it's used on the plastic too. How can you beat that? Fantastic results here also, guys. This is great stuff. Alright, so when you get it polished up the way you want to, and clean it up, that looks pretty darn good. Now, yeah, I could dip it in the gauzy or in the uh, Pledge Revive, but I've got the flitz great stuff metal plastic and fiberglass let's go ahead and move on here we've got the base now it's time to work on the wheels we're gonna have to grind the front wheels out so I've got my titanium bit here for my Dremel sorry about that nasty shot there I was more concentrating on getting it ground out than I was where it was on the camera Dang it. Wheel pops right out, plus you've got a channel there now for the new axle and wheels that you're going to put in. We've got cap wheels in the back, we're going to use those. Now, here's the front, we the front uh, wheel well. I got these off of a donor car. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple drops of super glue in the channel where the wheels go. And we're going to put those brand new front wheels in the front of the car. These two medium meats are ready to go. Now we'll put a little bit of the accelerator on there to dry that up. 
and cure it. That looks good. Now the back wheels are fine. All we got to do is take off that one rear wheel and replace the caps. And that'll be ready to go. All right, now it's time to put the cap wheels on. If I don't lose them. Go ahead and twist that off. Well, let's put the new cap wheels on. Two large meats for the back. Snap that bad boy on there. Now these turned out to be just a little bit loose. I mean, not all of them are going to work 100%. So what I did is I took a little bit of testers modeling glue and put a couple drops on there to hold them. Look at that body. Look at that paint job, man. That turned out great. Here's the base. That looks fantastic with the new wheels all polished up and ready to go. Here's the engine all polished up and ready to go with that flitz. And here's the windshield all polished up with the flitz. Fantastic stuff. Let's put it together and have our reveal. And here's what we started with. A promotional car from the Shell Oil Corporation, the Jet Threat. Painted with opaque paint, we stripped it down, we repainted it, we freshened up the wheels from the Redline shop and the front wheels on a donor car. We used flits to bring out all the chrome and the metal underneath of that beautiful Spectre Flame paint. And here's what we got to. Look at that beautiful paint job. The two colors from the Spectre Flame paint here blended perfectly, and that looks fantastic. The wheels in the back from the Redline shop, and the wheels in the front from the donor car. We used flits to polish up the metal engine, and we also polished up the glass and the body of the car. Now this absolutely turned out fantastic. I'm very proud of this restoration, or in this case, a resto mod. Now like I said, you folks can do this too. So get yourself some cars and let's have some fun. Follow the videos, listen to what we tell you, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section because I read every single question. This has been a really, really fun transformation here, folks. This is I, I love the way the way this turned out. It's it's beautiful. This video was brought to you by the Redline Shop. The Redline Shop offers a complete line of decals. Tools to take your car apart, put them back together, replacement hoods, replacement glass, those beautiful red line tires, and of course, the world famous Spectre Flame paints. Fantastic products. The Red Line Shop at www.redlineshop.com, where red lines come to life. I want to thank you for joining me here today on Diecast Graveyard. Had a wonderful time, and this has been a fantastic build. Now, like I said, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment there. I read every single comment. My name is Paul with Diecast Graveyard. You have a wonderful day, and cheers.